Standards and Protocols Just like in financial accounting, GHG accounting also has a set of generally accepted accounting principles which should be followed when creating a GHG inventory. These procedures, developed specifically for GHG accounting purposes, are spelled out in documents known as standards and protocols. The two most commonly used in the industry are the GHG protocol and the ISO 14064 series. GHG protocol. The greenhouse gas protocol was the first protocol developed for greenhouse gas accounting. It was developed in the early 2000s through a collaborative effort between the World Resources Institute and the World Business Council for Sustainable Development. Contributors included not only environmental groups and government agencies, but also major corporations such as Ford, Shell and BP. It has since become the most widely used international accounting tool for quantifying and managing greenhouse gas emissions. The GHG protocol provides the accounting framework for most of the world's GHG programs. From voluntary reporting programs, such as the EPA climate leaders, to individual companies preparing their own GHG inventories. Because it is the most widely used protocol in the world, the GHG protocol also serves as the basis for this course. The GHG protocol has one protocol for calculating an organization's emissions, known as the corporate standard, and one for evaluating the effectiveness of emissions reduction projects known as the Project Protocol. Both can be downloaded from the GHG Protocol website for free. Since this course is based on the corporate standard, you should familiarize yourself with it before moving on to the next lesson. ISO standards. There are three international standards relevant to greenhouse gas accounting. These are known as the ISO 1464 standards, developed by the International Standards Organization. ISO 1464-1 is the standard for GHG accounting at the organizational level and is the standard that is relevant to this course. It includes requirements for determining inventory boundaries, quantifying emissions, and identifying specific actions or activities aimed at improving GHG management. It also includes requirements and guidance on inventory quality management, reporting, internal auditing, and preparing for third-party verification. ISO 1464-2 focuses on activities specifically designed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In contrast with ISO 1464-1, 1464-2 is used for evaluating the emissions impact of specific projects. It includes principles and requirements for determining a project's baseline scenario, which is the projection of the greenhouse gas emissions that would occur without the proposed project. 1464-2 also includes guidelines for monitoring, quantifying, and reporting project performance relative to the baseline scenario. This standard is the basis for greenhouse gas reduction projects undertaken to create carbon credits. ISO 1464-3 is the standard for third-party verification of both inventories and reduction projects. It describes the process for evaluating the accuracy and completeness of a company's GHG assertions. This standard can be used by an organization to check its own reporting or by independent parties for the purposes of third-party verification. Each of these standards can be purchased for just over $100 from the ISO website or other authorized vendors. Additional Guidance while the ISO standards and the GHG protocol are the most widely used resources in GHG accounting, there are many other helpful resources. The EPA has developed many protocols, which are used by companies that report through climate leaders, an EPA-sponsored voluntary reporting program. Similarly, 
The California Climate Action Registry has also developed numerous protocols for its voluntary reporting program. Another source of guidance is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC. The IPCC was established by the United Nations in 1988 to evaluate the risk of climate change because of human activity. One of the IPCC's main activities is publishing special reports on topics relevant to the implementation of the UNFCCC. The IPCC has developed comprehensive guidelines for the development of GHG inventories on the national level. The IPCC has also developed numerous methodologies for quantifying GHG emissions and removals from a variety of sectors, like agriculture and forestry. Though previous participants in this course have mostly worked with organizational and project-level accounting, it is useful to have a working knowledge on national-level inventories. Please take a moment to visit the links below to get a sense of the scope, the scale, and the format of a country's official emissions report. End of recording.